Does this look familiar to you? It's called the March of Progress, and it illustrates the supposed slow, gradual progression of ape to man that evolutionists, our classrooms, the media, and our museums tout so proudly. But is it real? Do we actually have fossils proving this transitional process, or is this just a fairy tale for adults? The cold hard truth, despite what many evolutionists would have you believe, is that there have never been any hominid fossils discovered that show this ape to man lineup as reality. And what's even better is that the evolutionists themselves disagree and debate sometimes vehemently over how certain fossils do or do not apply to the human evolutionary tree. Essentially, when you boil it down and look at the facts of what we have, whether Artipithecus, Australopithecus, Homo habilis, Erectus, Florenzianus, Naledi, Denisovans, Neanderthals, you name it, all of these and others claim to be missing links can easily be relegated to either fully ape or fully human with zero evidence of transition between them. The evolutionists themselves have completely debunked the march of progress. Things get even worse for evolutionary theory when you realize that certain discoveries have led to massive contradictions in the human evolutionary timeline. Take for instance the Latoli fossil footprints found in Tanzania. Even evolutionists couldn't escape noting how remarkably similar they look to modern human footprints. Yet using their own timeline, these prints would be 500,000 years older than Australopithecus afarensis. Other modern looking human footprints found in Crete date to 5.7 million years old on the evolutionary timescale. This is a million years older than Artipithecus. How can you have this? before these, when these were supposed to become this. It just doesn't make any sense. But do you want to hear something that makes even less sense? With the Latoli prints, the paleoanthropologist who discovered them, the Leakeys, classified them as Australopithecus, because in the evolutionary timeline, the only human ancestor potentially around 3.6 million years ago, which is the time they dated the fossils to, was Lucy's kind. Even though, as pointed out earlier, this is still half a million years older than is generally accepted for Australopithecus afarensis. This identification absolutely flies in the face of the data. There is no evidence at all that these prints are Australopithecus. A modern human skull was even found at the same same site and at the same time as the footprints. Although at first, the Leakey suspiciously and falsely tried to say no other fossils were found at the site. Mary Leakey even wrote in her book that the footprints were so human-like that the only thing keeping them from being classified as Homo sapiens was that they were dated to be far older than Homo sapiens were thought to have existed. Talk about circular reasoning and your paradigm leading your conclusion. She never once entertained the idea that perhaps the reason the footprints look so human-like is because they are human and are roughly 4,000 years old, not 3.6 million. She never once thought to question evolution and consider creation, as Genesis tells us that humans and every single animal kind have always coexisted since the beginning. So the next time you see this graphic, rest assured that it is indeed a fairy tale for adults. And what we do have testifies to the fact that we have an all Almighty Creator God who created the heavens and earth in just six days about 6,000 years ago. Follow us for more.